The last account to discuss will be creditors control, as I've indicated, it will be minus plus because it's a liability. It will decrease on the debit side and increase on the credit side. This is a liability account and it represents purchases. So everything that is recorded here will be recorded at cost price. Now it will increase on the credit side whenever the business buys goods or other items on credit. It will decrease by um, other accounts. It could be us repaying our creditors. It could be us being offered a discount by the creditor. It could be us returning goods to the creditor. It could be general credit. Okay, I'll start with what increases this account. We'll start with the balance brought down from the previous month, which is 60,000. Please note that these are random numbers that I just came up with. But obviously, when I have on the 31st, I will simply have sundry balances. I prefer to write total purchases and then write CJ, which is the total of your creditor's control in the creditor's journal. And in this case, the amount that I came up with was 25,000. Now you're going to have sundry credits or general credits which comes from the general journal and the amount will be 12,000. Um, what will reduce this account though will simply be payments. I will write the total but I will discuss that later. It will simply be payments that we actually made to their creditor and that will include the discount that we received from the creditor because it's a payment we made it will be recorded in the cpj so this is the total of your creditors control plus discount received in your cash payment journal and the amount here will be sixty-five thousand total allowances which represents total returns which is what we have returned to the creditor. This will be found in your creditor's allowances journal, and the amount will simply be 15,000. And any general debits or sundry debits from the general journal will be recorded on the debit side of this account. Remember, debit reduces your creditor's control. The balance um, will be on the credit side. The balance carry down will be on the credit side because not the credit side, the debit side. That is because um, the credit side is bigger than the debit side. So you will take that 97,000 minus 65,000 minus 15,000 minus 5,000, it will give you a balance carry down, which is 12,000. And we will start the new month of June owing the creditor the 12,000. Right, this is the last um, financial position general ledger account. I just want to discuss cost of sales quickly because we discussed it earlier on. This is an expense account, um, which is just a valuation account or that we prepare because of the matching principle. We're trying to match our income or revenue from sales with cost price of those goods so we can determine what we call the gross profit. Now, cost of sales is an expense account. It increases whenever we sell on credit. I mean, whenever we sell goods, whether credit or cash, whenever we sell goods, this account will increase. It's an expense account. It will increase whenever we sell goods. Obviously, um, when cost of sales is involved, just remember trading stock will be the other account. So when we sell goods, um, we will simply debit cost of sales and credit trading stock. So the balance for cost of sales will be on the debit side. Now, what I did here was to debit trading stock. Immediately when I debit um, cost of sales with trading stock, it means I sold goods. Um, and obviously, Folio will tell me whether I sold it for cash or credit. If Folio is CRJ, it means we sold these goods for cash, which is 80000 And then we have another trading stock, which means we sold goods. But this time around, we sold goods on credit, and the amount will be 15000 What will reduce this account is when... The debtors return goods to us. That's where we normally debit trading stock and credit um, cost of sales. That's why here we are crediting cost of sales with trading stock from DAG and the amount will be 60000 And um, The debit side, obviously, here is bigger than the credit side. So your balance carry down 
will be on the credit side, which is 55,000. That represents the cost price of goods that we have sold thus far, um, and that will be 55,000. Okay. From that information, please prepare those. And this is all you're given. Rewatch the videos that have done this form. Calculate the question marks here before you can complete the general ledger. And then when you're done, please prepare your debtors control account, your trading stock account, yeah, and that's it, okay? Use that information to prepare those two accounts. Hold on. Till next time, good night.